Well, that looks like it was somebody who didn't have the right size screwdriver in there and was trying to take it out. Which means we're not the first ones in here. Not that I ever think I am on anything. How are them Pop-Tarts, Gary? Uh, <laughs> I can't be any happier. This thing is, uh, it's fast. Do you see what I see? It looks like something at the side here. Yeah, that nice clean thing right there that this camera can't see because I'm not looking at shit. All right, there. There she is. Hey. Yep. That just slides off that mount and then gets unplugged. Yep. Should be like a... Yeah, it's like a little clip. Yeah, don't break it. I'm trying not to. Because I got a clip? feeling if that's broken, it's probably a... Really not gonna work good. All right, what do you got here? Pull that out, and then pull that out, and then, ow, ow. Pull that out. So yeah, you'll notice there's a a wee bit of a difference, but the connections were basically the same. So I was willing to let it ride. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks, Gary. Yeah. What the f Okay. <laughs> Easy. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, all right, that's brown to brown, I would assume, right? Sure. It would make it would not make sense to go and okay. cross the wires here, correct? I hope. I'll let you know. <laughs> I know, like seriously. I'm not 100% this is gonna work. We'll see. Hopefully, she just fires up. Well, that's not gonna happen, because, uh... oh, there's, okay. Neutral. It's gonna need choke, because it's friggin' cold. You'll have to hold on, I'm not. Uh, what are the chances the fuel is on? And then what are the chances I have any idea where the fuel is at? Um, seriously? Is there not even a fuel turn on the phone? Yes. There might not be. Um, there is, I don't know where the hell it's at. <laughs> Alright, so is it... Yeah. We need ether. Hmm. Brake cleaner? No, on the, sh on the starting fluid on that shelf down there by where the paint and all that is. Alright, so we got it off. Looking for any gunk, anything like that, that may be uh, screwing us at the moment. We're definitely having some fuel delivery issues on the old uh, Polaris, uh, what is this, a Phoenix 200? So I got a feeling I got a clock jet or something, so we're going to go ahead and pull this bad boy apart. I'm looking at it for the first time just like you are. Looks like we got to drive a pin out. And then we have some sort of a protector or diverter maybe and then we got the main pickup or something along those lines I don't know don't ask me I'm not a uh, expert done this a couple of times so we're gonna go ahead and pull it all apart I gotta get a uh, I guess a punch pin or something like that it's not something stupid where I don't have to do anything is it yep. all right we'll get a, uh, a punch pin and push it Hope it comes out real easy because I don't have much that size. Oh yeah, she come right out. Perfect. So just a little uh, drift pin essentially. And now we pull the floats. 
which will bring our inlet needle out. Floats aren't full of any fluid or anything. There's no holes. So that's good news. The needle looks fine. Nothing crazy with it. So, nothing wrong there. Well, uh, visually, there's something in the... Is there something there? I need to get some light on that. I know, you're unhappy. Alright, nothing in there. It's clean. That's good. In case you were wondering. Disregard. Alright, so from here we're going to uh, start pulling these jets or intakes or whatever they are. Fuel goes through there. We're going to pull those, make sure they're clean. I was looking for something, then I found it, and uh, thanks for your help. So, we've got ourselves here with the uh, flathead, and it's got to be a real fine, and you want to be as wide as you can. So, I don't know where I got these, they're an old cobalt set. But you want to make sure you're as centered as you can, because you don't want to slip out, because you can see right here... At some point, I don't know if you can really make it out, but the corner's a little dicked up. So we'll see if that screws us. That looks like it was somebody who didn't have the right size screwdriver in there and was trying to take it out. Which means we're not the first ones in here. Not that I ever think I am on anything. How are them Pop-Tarts, Gary? Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, so these things, they come out and they've got uh, different spots for fuel and stuff. And you can see right there, there's some schmutz. It's never good things. I don't think it's actually doing much, but if that's in there, it's probably also down in the jet that's in the center here. So we'll shine some light through and see if we can see anything. Okay, you see that. All right, so the main jet is actually freaking clean. You can see through it. So other than that little weird spot of crap here, look at this stuff. Schmutz. Some schmutz. Most definitely schmutz. Couldn't be anything else. Couldn't be anything else. All right, so we'll continue, because that means there's probably some more schmutz down in there. I'm gonna hope, the, so the idea is we hope to take this apart and go, hey, there's your problem. Worst case scenario, you take it apart and it's like, and that's Every, what a working car looks like. <laughs> yeah, that is the worst case scenario in this scenario. Uh, but then I've also seen that where you put it back together and then it just works. And you're just like, well, I don't know what I did, but I'm glad I did it. All right, let's see what this one's got. This one's clean as well. Yeah, I think we f we clean it out. Uh, we drain it out. Put new fuel in it. I think it's just bad gas. I think it could be a combination of things. I'm going to keep digging, but there's not much further I'm digging in than this. Um, I got one spot on the side over here that does something I don't quite understand, so we're going to open that up. It may or may not be a mistake. This is that whole curiosity killed the cat thing. I'm like, what's behind here? Well, I don't know. There's only one way to find out, right? You're taking the whole carburetor part? Why wouldn't you? You never did this when you were a kid? Just when you were into something that was not working, you decided, well, it's broken, I might as well take the whole thing apart, and maybe. I did it with bicycles, not Yeah, bicycles. I didn't have motorbikes. I did it with everything. Lawnmowers. Lawnmowers is actually where it started. Lawn, you see the lawn out there, right? That's got to get mowed. Hope you like mowing lawns. Nah. Really? Because it's one of those things where if you like it, it's kind of fun. All right, so we're going to go blow this thing out with some compressed air and clean her up nice and good. And put it back together. I mean, realistically, I can see through all of the orifices down in here, so there's nothing blocking any passageways. I don't see anything that should make this thing not work as it's supposed to. So we'll go ahead and clean and shoot through. The only thing I'm thinking maybe could be this one, because I haven't really looked down in those yet. But I'm going to hit them all with some air, and we'll see where we end up. But somebody's been in here because they've done some, they've done some things. All right, I take uh, what I said back in the last clip. Uh, when I said, well, I can see through these, they're fine. I believe if you're going to look, you're going to notice that center hole is a lot 
bigger than it was. I could look through and see some, which was basically what you see in that jet, but I swear these two, when I looked at them before, looked like the, the same amount of of uh, light coming through the hole, and that hole is far different sized. So, I don't know, we'll see. Well, that may have been the claws. Of course, when I hit it, I swear I saw something come out of it, but I can't for sure say. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy back together. We got the cap here that I don't know what the hell it's for, but it was on here, so we're gonna put it back up. Hmm, I think it goes more like uh, that. A little blank off guy. Not that anyone can see what I'm doing because my fingers are in the way. Close. So you're not over torquing any of these. I'm sure if you look it up, it'll tell you what the torque is, but I'm sure it'll be some sort of ridiculous inch pound number once you all look it up. So uh, good and tight. Will do. Little snuggers. This thing's not doing 120 down the down the trail. At least it shouldn't be. All right. Uh, next. Anyone else remember how the hell this thing goes back together? All right. So the main jet, I did get some stuff to come out of the center of it too. It again, it looked clear, but there was definitely stuff down in there. Go ahead and tighten that one down. Gary, Just putting it back together. I found a bunch of stuff in the main jet. What was it? Schmutz. Schmutz. We need to drain that tank. Not come. <laughs> it's a possibility. Schmutz is anything but come. Yeah. In every situation. It's yeah, I guess it's probably not, but. So yeah, we gotta find something to drain that gas into. There should be an empty, bu empty bucket or something back there. Yeah, we just need something to put gas in for to light a fire or something with. It's still flammable, it's just not what we want to run through our motor. So these are the same thing, I'm just giving good and tights. Alright, so that thing goes back on here. Gary, how's this thing go back together? I don't know, but you put your box of shit on my blue chair. I did that because you needed a part out of that box. I will not have you talk blasphemy about the box, Gary. It will not be allowed in this house. This house is a prison. This is a <laughs> bullshit. Um. Any idea what I? Oh no, Gary, I'm at a lost a piece. Up oh, there it is. Hey, small heart attack later. We're good. Just small one. What's that noise, Gary? A fire. It, w it went out and it started smoking on both sides. It opened up a little bit, Gary. Yeah, but why does it sound like it's... That's just that oh, it's the fuel. Yeah. Never mind. I didn't realize that fuel was making that much noise. And they say autism doesn't affect you in your adult life. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, did you pay any attention on how to uh, do this? No, that's why we're recording it. <laughs> You're not, you don't even watch the videos, Gary. I do. Do you? Yeah. I appreciate it. Do you hit the thumbs up button? No, I cause it doesn't cost anything. Okay, cool. I was gonna ask next, are you a member? It only costs a dollar. The only shit part about this garage, YouTube, <laughs> is that they don't listen to EDM, so it's kind of fucking useless working in here. To be fair, we don't listen to anything unless he who shall not be named is listening to... Where does this go? Oh, that goes the other way. Oh, oh, we're doing it wrong. Big time doing it wrong. Hey, it fits so much better when you do it that way. All right, so we're all back again. We got the pin in. We've got our jets all in and tight. We've got our bowl. We're going to drop that bad boy over. And then three screws back on. That's it. Taking apart the carb, cleaning it, putting it back together. All right, so that's it. We are literally all back together now. Again, do not over torque this thing. It's just good and tights all the way around. It, uh... It's all O-rings, shouldn't leak. It does not need to be hammered home. I'm Like I said, if you looked it up, I'm sure it's just a couple of inch pounds. You don't want to strip these screws. So yeah, all back together. Looking like a good carb. We'll put her on, hopefully it runs.